What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $50 million buy-in. And we're starting with 200 quarters. Super, super expensive game today. Anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a brand new world record win. My goodness, they got this thing loaded up incredibly well today. Looks like a ginormous tower of chips back there on the pusher. The bottom layer, those are $5,000 chips. Middle layer, $25,000 chips. And the top layer, $10,000 chips. They got two gigantic towers of quarters right there in the play field. They got a couple gold towers on the corners. Let's see, there's all kinds of $5,000 chip towers, $25,000 chip towers, and $10,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. Oh yeah, nice, we got that small tower of gold on the right corner there. That is excellent right there. And I'm seeing two mystery bags in there. There's a red one on that right blue shelf and a blue one on the left blue shelf. And there's also six dice in there. There's four white dice and two gold dice. The gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by those numbers. And the white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our 200 quarters. So let's go retrieve the quarters, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. Oh my goodness, that quarter tower on the right-hand side, that is super, super close to going. Check that out. Oh yeah, the one on the left is moving forward also. Well anyhow, that previous round was pretty successful. We made like seven ounces of gold. And we got about, let's see, 285 quarters out of the 200 quarters we just put in there. Oh yeah, we're about to get a whole bunch more quarters right there. Check that out. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, this great big old tower is about ready to go. Yeah, once we start winning all them quarter towers out of there, I will use that skill stop button and I will stack up the pusher back there, load up maybe like five, six, seven, eight hundred quarters at once, and more than likely it will completely demolish that poker chip tower back there. Oh yeah, nice. We got that gold tower on the left. That was another seven ounces of gold. Not bad, not bad at all. It's been a magnificent game today so far. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. Well, anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. Keep a close eye on them quarter towers because they might fall down. So let's go retrieve the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So we pretty much got the same thing, about 280 quarters, something around that. Maybe a little bit closer to 300, I'm not sure. Come on, nice push. Oh, yeah. Nice, we got a whole bunch of quarters on the left right there. Did you see that? That was a waterfall. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping we can get this massive quarter tower right there to go. Oh, yeah. A bunch of quarters got stuck. Nice. There they go. Yeah, I'd say we're going to have close to 400 quarters whenever we go get those quarters out of the loot chute. This is doing exceptional today. That great big old tower back there on the pusher, it's moving forward pretty fast. Still got a long ways to go, but it's making a lot of progress, that's for sure. So that right there was the last of our quarters once again. So let's go see what we've won, and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So we got about 450 quarters now. This is doing phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nah, them quarter towers are so close. This is super intense. Oh, my goodness. Keep a close eye on that quarter tower on the right. That is going any moment now. Come on, massive win. Wow, this is doing amazing. And a bunch of $5,000 chips are falling out of that great big old tower back there on the pusher. Typically that means that the tower is about ready to crash down whenever the chips start falling out of the base of it. Oh yeah, that was a boatload of quarters we just got right there. This is doing amazing. Oh yeah, big push. Yeah, I can't believe the quarter towers are still standing there. Oh yeah, this one's about to go. All right, well that right there is the last of our quarters, so let's go retrieve the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So we got about 400 quarters now. Like I said, my goal is to get as many quarters back as possible. And then I will try my best to get that massive tower to go. Oh yeah, it's losing a bunch more $5,000 chips at the base. Come on. My goodness, look at all those quarters stuck right there on the left. 
Oh yeah, that great big old tower might fall down before we get the quarter towers. You never know. Oh yeah, it's losing all kinds of $5,000 chips at the base of it. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, it's teetering back and forth. Nice, there it goes, but oh my goodness, literally all of those chips got stuck against the glass. That's not good. My goodness, I was not expecting that to happen. That's insane. Yeah, more than likely, if we give it a few minutes, those chips will fall out of there on their own. So anyhow, let's go collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Queen Bush, your has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. Well, somehow we had made over like two million dollars in uh twenty five thousand dollar chips oh yeah them chips are starting to break free well on the left hand side at least come on nice push wow they're starting to go now it's going to be a massive avalanche when all that falls down it's probably going to uh jam up the loot chute that's all right though a win's a win i guess oh yeah nice getting a whole bunch of five thousand dollar chips $25,000 chips. There they go any moment now. Oh my goodness, this is intense right here. There's literally millions of dollars on the edge. Oh yeah, that left hand side's pushing really, really well now. We can just get all that right there in the center to get going and be set. Oh my goodness, is that a brown mystery bag? Holy cow, I think there's a brown mystery bag hidden in there oh my gosh nice we got all those chips to fall down but uh like i said it would probably clog up the loot chute so let's get it cleared out real quick Alrighty, righty andy coin pusher has her turn let's get right back to pushing so we got that loot chute cleared out and to be completely honest with you i'm going to say that was over like 16 17 million dollars and chips we just got right there plus if we could get all those five thousand dollar chips that right there is probably an extra like i don't know maybe one and a half million dollars i'm just guessing i don't know for sure oh yeah i'd say we're averaging about 80 grand a push so this is doing phenomenal today definitely might be a new world record win and i know there's not 50 million dollars in chips in there today but uh Pretty much how we're going to make a profit on this game, if we do make a profit, it would be because of those white dice right there. Because like I said, we get to roll them at the end of the game, and whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. So for example, say I have won like $20 million in chips, and all the white dice total up to 10, all the dice combined total up to 10, 10 times $20 million in chips. That means we'd have won $200 million, so really what it all boils down to is the dice, like whatever they land on. If they land on ones, the ones wouldn't count at all, because it would just be multiplying my winnings by one. So if it lands on a one, it is a zero. Just keep that in mind for later on whenever we roll the dice. I'll remind you again, but I'm just saying. Well, it looks like there's maybe like 25, 30 grand left on the right side. So let's try to get that out of there. Then we'll open up that brown mystery bag. I'm pretty certain I've seen a brown mystery bag hidden in there. Yeah, 99.9% of the time they will have like a mystery bag hidden inside those great big old towers. Sometimes multiple of them, like could be three or four or five mystery bags. Something else that I haven't seen in there in a little while. Y'all remember the ginormous mystery bags? Yeah, I haven't seen those in there in forever. Yeah, it'd be nice if they brought those back again, because normally those would have literally everything in there. Dice, chips, the special chips. My goodness, it could be loaded up really, really well. But I mean, I'm fine with a normal mystery bag. As long as we can make a profit off of this game. And I'm still trying to make that $700 million back that we lost yesterday. I'll talk more about that later on. But uh, pretty much I lost like $700 million yesterday. And on yesterday's game, I think we made like $200 million profit. So we need to make like, let's see, a little over $500 million. 
to break even. Because we're still down a lot of money. Yeah, hopefully we can make every bit of that money that we lost back on this game. Would be nice anyway. Oh yeah, that last 10 grand, nice. We got it, got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely exceptional. We got a boatload of quarters now also. So let me go see what we've won and I will open up that brown mystery bag. Be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So let's go ahead and open up the brown mystery bag. It feels like it's loaded up amazingly well. So let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got three of the white dice. And we got the $5 chip, the $10 chip, and two $1 chips. So both of these $1 chips right here, each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So I get to cash in both of these. That will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. And the $10 chip, we get to cash this in. And this right here is pretty much worth a free tower. Because they'll let me spin a wheel. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever that wheel lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. And the $5 chip, we get to cash this in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up fantastically well. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in the $10 chip and both of those $1 chips and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMB Coin Busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and both of them $1 chips. They gave me an extra thousand quarters. And we got to spin that wheel and today it landed on $5,000 chips. And as you can see they built like a spiral tower back there on the pusher. Yeah, I'd say that's at least a two and a half, three, four million dollar tower right there. And normally they'll put like a couple smaller towers in there but they did not do that today unfortunately. I mean, it's still alright, I'm not complaining, I'm just telling y'all what they normally do. Yeah, normally they would have like $5,000 chip tower on that side and one on the right. I mean, I guess I'm fine with one tower. And uh, after we knock down that massive tower, I will cash in that $5 chip. And they will take all those towers that's on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field. So stay tuned for that, more exciting gameplay coming right up. But for now, let's just focus on trying to get that tower of $5,000 chips. And uh, something else I've noticed about today's game, we have not won that $50 chip yet. So pretty much that $50 chip, if I win it, I get to cash it in at the end of the game. They will take everything that's fallen down those side slots and they would put it back into the play field. But we haven't won that today. Normally it would be in that first mystery bag that we won. It should have been with the... Uh, $5 chip and the $1 chips and stuff, but it wasn't unfortunately. But however, there's two more mystery bags on the blue shelves as you can see there. And I guess those have the potential to have that $50 chip in there. So I don't think it's too late to win that $50 chip because they've done that a couple times before. They've uh, had the $50 chip in one of the mystery bags on the blue shelf. Oh yeah, nice, we got that enormous tower of 5,000 Nola chips. That is absolutely marvelous right there. Wow, that was insane. That was a boatload of 5,000 Nola chips we just got right there. And uh, anyway, back to talking about what I was saying earlier. We're down $700 million at the moment. Not 700 million anymore. We're down close to like 500 million. If we made like 200 million dollars in profit on yesterday's game and this game right here this is the first game i've played today so hopefully we can get a win off of this game right here but we need to at least make like 500 million dollars profit to make that whole entire 700 million dollars back that we lost so pretty much if you're wondering how i lost 700 million dollars uh well the first game i played yesterday I played two games yesterday before we got that winning game, and uh, the first game was a $50 million buy-in and a one-quarter challenge. I ended up spending $500 million on that game and I lost it all. I didn't even get a single quarter back. And the second game ended up losing $200 million, so that's how I lost $700 million. But like I said, we made like $200 million profit yesterday. so. We need to make half a billion profit on this game right here. It's going to be pretty difficult. 
But I think if we play our quarters right, get the whole entire machine cleared out, I think we'll make out like a bandit. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A&V coin busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Those mystery bags, those are in a pretty good spot and there's like a bunch of dice on top of them towers. Two of the white dice are back there on the pusher as you can see there. And there's a gold dice on both of them towers and two more white dice on them towers. So those towers on the corners might be a little bit difficult to get, but I mean, worst case scenario, we could load up the machine with quarters using that skill stop button. And that blue mystery bag, it's already about ready to go. Oh my gosh, nice! Well, that big old tower back there on the pusher fell down and it demolished that tower that was in front of it. Oh yeah, nice! That one did the exact same thing also. That is remarkable. So take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think we're going to make back today from a $50 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these machines, but I do this for you all. Like I've said many, many times before, I try to make the best content out there and I try to make it as entertaining as possible. And I know the majority of y'all like to see the big buy-in videos, so that's why I make them. And let me know if you'd want to see more amazing content like this. Do you want to see like... 10 million dollar buy-ins all the way up to 150 million dollar buy-ins or would you want to see like 200 million dollar buy-ins 500 million dollar buy-ins or would you want to see like 100,000 dollar buy-ins all the way up to 5 million dollar buy-ins i mean i could also do the smaller buy-in videos just uh, let me know what types of videos you'd want to see down in the comments and i might start doing more one quarter challenges I mean, as of right now, I've only been doing the one quarter challenge videos like maybe once a month or once every two months or something. And I've had a bunch of people tell me down in the comments that they want to see the one quarter challenges. So I'm going to start doing more one quarter challenges here within the next couple of weeks. And uh, if you're wondering why I ask y'all what types of videos you want to see like pretty much in every single video, it's because there's thousands up on thousands of new people watching and I just want to hear everybody's suggestions that way I can try to entertain as many people as possible. Oh my gosh, nice! We got that tower $10,000 chips on the right corner. That is miraculous right there. Wasn't expecting that one to go. Well, to be completely honest with you, I wasn't even paying attention to that right side. I was uh, watching the left hand side. Alrighty, so I put a bunch of quarters in there at one time. Probably about, let's see, 550 of them I'd say. I'm just trying to get a large base of quarters built up behind these towers on the sides. Because here a couple weeks back, we discovered a brand new technique that if we stack the quarters up really, really high back there on the moving platform using that skill stop button, it really, really speeds up the process running those towers that are on the corners. Because before we was only putting like two or three or four or five dollars in there at a time, and I don't even think we used that skill stop button. And it would take anywhere from three to eight hours to get the towers on the corners to fall down. But now that we started stacking up the quarters like this, really, really helps the towers on the sides to get moving. So, And a bunch of you all suggested that down in the comments, so thank you all so much for suggesting that. I truly appreciate it. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go collect the quarters and we'll try to get them remaining towers. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we start with? I think we should start with this blue one first. This one feels like it's loaded up really, really nice. So let's see. Hopefully there's something really, really nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two gold dice and four white dice. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. Let's see, how many white dice does that make us in total now? 10 of them? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this very well could be a brand new world record win today. Yeah, but we're still down $500 million, so if we can make that back, then we'll be in the money. But as of right now, we're down like half a billion dollars, just think of that. It's a lot of money. 
And I'm pretty nervous right now about this game right here because I'm going to try to make that half a billion dollars back. So anyhow, let's go ahead and load this thing up again using the skill stop button. And if this round right here doesn't get these remaining three towers, I will probably go ahead and open up that red mystery bag just to see if that $50 chip is in there. Well, it's not looking too promising right now. Well, I tell you what, whenever I open up that red mystery bag and say that a $50 chip is not in there, then I will probably pay an extra hundred grand and have them rearrange all three of those towers. But, uh, that $50 chip is in the red mystery bag, then I'll go ahead and cash that in and they'll take everything that's fallen down the side slots and they'll put it back into the play field. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having a magnificent day today so far. And if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out tremendously we're on the road to 140,000 subscribers my goal is to get there by the end of september so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and also while you're at it hit that like button let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video right here tell you what if this video can get 10,000 likes within the first day of it being posted to youtube tomorrow i will do a half a billion dollar buy-in how does that sound 500 million dollar buy-in but only if this video can get 10,000 likes within 24 hours of it being posted to YouTube so anyhow that right there was probably about like 12 13 1400 quarters at once wasn't really paying attention to how many quarters I was putting in there it's definitely going to be a massive benefit trying to get these towers well if they fall down a bunch of them got stuck back there that's normally how it goes but if we give it a couple of minutes They'll start to break free, I think. Oh yeah, they're breaking free on that left-hand side. Yeah, normally the left-hand side breaks free first, then the right side. Yeah, oh yeah, see what I'm saying? And I guess we do need more quarters on the left than we do the right because there's two towers over here. But you'll see what I'm saying here in just a few minutes. Uh, once we get all those quarters built up behind these towers, they're really, really going to start moving forward, like, pretty quick, to be honest with you. So, you'll see it for yourself here in just a second. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting that subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with future content because once you hit that subscribe button there should be a bell icon right next to it and if you hit that bell icon it will give you the option to turn on all notifications and if you turn on all notifications you will get notified on your phone tv laptop computer ipad tablet whatever device you're watching my videos on you will get notified every single time i upload a brand new video you can turn off that bell icon at any time it's not permanent for nothing it's, it's always up to you so pretty much that bell icon if you have it enabled you will get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on and it will say like AMD coin pressure posted a brand new video and you can just click on it and it will take you right to that video and for the people who don't have the bell icon turned on like for example say I post at 7 in the evening right uh, sometimes it takes like five to ten minutes after the videos posted before it shows up on YouTube but if you have that bell icon enabled uh, you'll be the first person to watch the video pretty much so be sure you have that bell icon turned on so anyhow that right there was the last of recorders and that tower super super close I don't want to leave that in there just yet alrighty I'm back so let's go ahead and check out this red mystery bag right here so this right here is our last chance of getting that $50 chip so let's just hope that it's in there let's see oh yeah jackpot baby nice we got three more gold dice and we got that $50 chip yeah I was beginning to think we wasn't gonna get that $50 chip today but luckily it was in that red mystery bag so that is absolutely spectacular so I'm gonna try one more round and try to get those three towers out of there and uh, if we don't get them to go, I'll just go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. And if we're lucky, they might rearrange 
all three of those towers and put them in different locations. So, let's keep on stacking this thing up. Hopefully we can get that uh, $10,000 chip tower on the left hand side because that is insanely close to the edge. That's like maybe 5 or 10 pushes away from going I'd say. So let's try to load up that left hand side. Now there's so many quarters on the play field. Now all those are the quarters that we stacked up. And like after we win the towers, I could always play like normal to try to win those quarters back that we stacked up. And if you've seen previous videos, y'all know we could win all those quarters back pretty quick. So I guess we're not really wasting quarters. I mean, we're always going to lose quarters to those gutters. There's nothing I could really do about that. But I mean, we can get the majority of those quarters back if we play like normal. Like right now, if I started putting like two or three or four dollars in there at a time, just playing like normal, I could win every bit of those quarters that we stacked up in probably less than like five minutes or so. Well, for you all, it'd be like five minutes, but for me, it'd probably be like 10, 15 minutes. Because I like to cut out most of the boring parts. And sometimes it will push just like that right there. You see that? And we didn't get any quarters back at all. And sometimes it'll do like that for probably like 5, 10, 15 minutes. A lot of times you can't get it to go at all. And it just takes like buy-in after buy-in. Yeah, there was this one game I was playing off camera one day. I put a thousand quarters in that one time. I did not get a single quarter back. Not one quarter at all. Like, that was probably one of the worst games I played. And believe it or not, the buy-in was like, let's see, what was it? It was either a $100 million buy-in or a $150 million buy-in. I want to say it was a $100 million buy-in. I mean, that just goes to show you can't win at these all the time. And I'll definitely make this look a lot easier than it actually is, because as I've said hundreds of times before, I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those videos too well. And I try to keep my channel as positive as possible. Very seldom do I show a losing video. And I know it can get boring for the majority of y'all, so... Like I've said, uh, keep these, try to keep these videos as entertaining as possible. Yeah, I'm hoping we can at least get that uh, $10,000 chip power before we run out of quarters. And something else I'm a little bit worried about whenever I cash in that $50 chip. I mean, they've only done this a couple of times, but they may take all those towers and put them back in the original position. And they've moved those towers like behind the gutter back there because that's where they was at to begin with. So, I mean, I guess that's why it's best to win the towers now instead of waiting until later. But, I mean, like I said, they've only done that a couple of times. And I'm really, really hoping we could at least get that $10,000 chip power. It's hanging about almost halfway over the edge. We could just get a solid push on that left-hand side and fall on down into the payout shoot up, say. Well, we only got a couple quarters left in the basket, so it's going to have to fall down within the next couple of seconds if we're going to get it on this round. Oh my goodness, dropping a bunch of quarters on the floor. Well, that's all the quarters we got left right there. So I'm on that left-hand side. Come on, nice push. Get that tower. Yeah, well, we didn't get it, unfortunately, but we'll get it on the next round, so I'm not really worried about it. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box, and they put it all back into the play field. My goodness, there was a bunch of stuff down in there. And turns out that that loot box hasn't been emptied out all day long today, so... Most of the chips and gold that you're seeing in there is stuff that other people have lost for the side slots playing these games today before I got here. And those towers that was on the corners that was giving us an uphill battle, I guess they moved those towers toward the center a little bit. I mean, 
they put like a massive tower of gold on that right hand side there so that might be a little bit difficult to win i'm not sure we'll see and it looks like they put a yellow mystery bag in there i don't know if somebody else lost that or if they put that in there because sometimes if like people lose dice to the side slots they will they'll put a mystery bag in there and they'll put the dice in the mystery bag that way they don't get lost again well, it looks like we lost that mystery bag to the blue shelf, unfortunately. So it would cost me an extra hundred grand to get them to put it back into the play field. Oh my goodness, nice. That was a brilliant push right there. Well, that loot shoot got clogged up, so let's get that cleared out real quick. Alrighty, a and coin busher has their turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got that loot shoot all cleared out, and oh my goodness, check that out. That $5,000 chip tower with that gold dice on top of it, that's about ready to go. Nice, we got it, and that uh, $10,000 chip tower is about to go also. And uh, after that, we got to win that gold tower on the right side, and I think I will pay that extra hundred grand to have them put that yellow mystery bag back into the play field. Because there could be anything in there, there could be dice, chips, who knows what, so definitely going to take the gamble on that. Going to pay that extra hundred grand and have them put that back into the play field. Yeah, that uh, yellow mystery bag, that's the only thing we lost to the blue shelf today. Yeah, we didn't lose any chips or quarters. Well, take that back. We lost a couple quarters on the right side there. Let's see, it looks like we lost like 225 and quarters, but that's nothing out of the normal. Because whenever we put a bunch of quarters in there at once, we'll always lose a bunch of quarters to the blue shelves. I mean, that's alright though, because we got thousands of quarters now. Probably about like 30, 3,500 quarters, I'd say. Oh yeah, that stack of chips right there, it's about ready to go. Come on! Nice, we got them. And looks like we just lost a couple chips of the gutter on that right hand side. I mean, if you think about it, all that was bonus money anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'd like to win it all, don't get me wrong, but still, I mean, it's bonus money. So I think I might go ahead and pay that extra hundred grand and have them put that mystery bag back into the play field. And if we're lucky, they may rearrange that gold tower right there and put it in a different spot. So let's go ahead and call them back here. Pay that extra hundred grand and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin bush, your hazard turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I paid that extra hundred grand. They took that mystery bag that we lost to the blue shelf and they put it back into the play field. And they also took that massive tower of gold that was on that right corner and they put it back there on the moving platform. So that's a much better spot for it. Hopefully we can get it to crash down and fall straight forward. Wouldn't be good to lose that mystery bag to the blue shelf again. Oh my goodness. Well, that tower may end up sliding backwards. I'm not sure. Looks like it's going to anyway. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah. It's about to go. It's either going to fall backwards or forward. Nice, it fell forward and we got that mystery bag. That is absolutely remarkable. So once we get all that gold out of there, I guess that's going to be the end of the game today. So hopefully we've made that uh, $500 million back today. Yeah, because we were still down $500 million. If we can make $500 million profit on this game, then we'll break even. Yeah, I'm hoping we can make over $500 million. That'd be super, super nice if we could. Yeah, we've won tons of $25,000 chips today. I'm going to say we've won like $13, $14 million in $25,000 chips alone, not counting the $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, and $10,000 chips. All right, well, that right there is going to get all that gold out of there. Watch this. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely phenomenal. This has been a magnificent game today. Absolutely magnificent. So now let's go ahead and open up that yellow mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. 
Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got two more white dice. That is absolutely fabulous right there. Yeah, this very well could be a brand new world record win today. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won 20 dice in total. We got uh, 13 of the white dice and 7 of the gold dice. They will put all 20 of them dice back there on that moving platform. And we have to roll them on down to that lower shelf there. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 20 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower play field. Hopefully they all land on some gigantic numbers. And if any of the dice lands on a one, like I said earlier, just pretend they don't exist because the ones are zeros. Oh my gosh, those are fabulous numbers so far. Well, except for that one on the white dice there. That one doesn't count, but the rest of them are doing phenomenal. Still got a bunch more dice to roll on that left-hand side. Oh yeah, those are pretty good numbers right there. Well, one of them flipped over to a two, and it was originally a six. I mean, still, this is going to be a massive win today, I can already tell you that. Alright, two more dice to roll, let's get them. Oh yeah, we got a five. And we can't push too far because if any of the dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we'd lose them. Well, that was a super, super close call right there because look how close that dice is. So anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all of that, and I will let you all know what we've won back from a $50,100,000 buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. I ended up winning $21,368,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 39, and in total, I ended up winning $833,352,000 from a $50,100,000 buy, and that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 63 ounces of gold, and all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 26. And in total, I ended up winning 1,638 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like $1,940 an ounce. So that means we got an extra 3,177,000 seven hundred and twenty dollars in gold today that is absolutely phenomenal right there so we pretty much made that seven hundred million dollars back and then we made a bunch more profits so that is absolutely phenomenal so that's a massive relief knowing that we've made all that money that we lost back so that's not bad not bad at all for a fifty million one hundred thousand dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's episode be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top there to subscribe. So anyhow, I will see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.